California couple David Allen Turpin and Louise Anna Turpin, who allegedly held their 13 malnourished children captive inside their home, pleaded not guilty to torture, child abuse and false imprisonment, according to CBS News. The pair appeared in court on Thursday, January 18, and faced 12 counts of torture, 7 counts of abuse of a dependent adult, 6 counts of child abuse or neglect and 12 counts of false imprisonment. David was also charged with one count of loon act on a child. If found guilty, the pair will serve 94 years to life in prison. Bail is set at $12 million per defendant, according to, the case began on Sunday, January 14, when a girl, 17, escaped the residence and called 911 from a cell phone she obtained inside the house, officials rescued 13 people total, ranging in age from 2 to 29. According to the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, the individuals were shackled to their beds with chains and padlocks in dark and foul-smelling surroundings. David, 57, and Louise, 49, allowed their children to shower once a year and fed them rationed meals each day, District Attorney Mike Heastern confirmed during a press conference on Thursday. A woman, 29, who was held captive, weighs only 82 pounds, while one 12-year-old weighs as much as the average 7-year-old child. He string revealed. They would buy food, including pies, apple pies, pumpkin pies, leave it on the counter, let the children look at it but not eat the food, he string said. David's mother, Betty Turpin, told the Southern California News Group on Wednesday, January 17, that she was shocked by what her son and his wife were doing. They were just like any ordinary family, Betty, 81, said. And they had such good relationships. I'm not just saying this stuff. They were sweetie this and sweetie that to each other. The couple's next court date is set for Friday, February 23rd.